In this video, we'll talk about the analysis function in BC Designer Online. It uh, helps users to look at the KPIs and uh, their data from different points of view. Uh, let's start with a general overview of the TAPS interface. On the top, you can uh, select the required analysis type. Uh, then the software will show the table uh, with the results. In the next section, you can select the uh, interval of the dates that the software should analyze. Uh, depending on the type of analysis, the uh, software will show you more options to choose from. Finally, uh, you can decide if you're interested in doing the analysis for indicators only, for uh, business goals, containers, or for all items. How do different types of analysis help to get more insights from the data? Let's discuss them in detail. I will use a, a quality scorecard template so that we have some data to work with. The progress and uh, performance analysis help to look at the normalized performance of the KPIs. You can uh, sort the uh, list of the indicators to find the best performing items or the indicators that require uh, attention due to their low performance. For example, now I can see that uh, the number of complaints per period is in the uh, red zone. What is normalized performance? How is performance different from progress? Uh, we have a separate videos where we discuss these questions in detail. Uh, the next analysis is absolute weight. All indicators in BC Designer can have a weight. Weight shows the relevant importance of an indicator compared to other indicators on the scorecard. The absolute weight of an indicator takes into account the weight of the indicator, the weight of its parent, the weight of its parent, and so on. With this type of analysis, you can find the indicators that impact your scorecard the most. For example, now I see that uh, prevent critical quality problems indicator has a high impact on the performance of the scorecard. That's a great way to know where you should focus the efforts of your team. Uh, we have a separate video where we discuss all the nuances about weight calculation in BC Designer. With uh, forecast analysis, you can ask the software to use the historical data of an indicator to uh, forecast a value expected uh, for a certain date or forecast a date when a certain value will be achieved. Let's take uh, the number of complaints per period indicator. On the dashboard tab, I have a chart for it. And as you can see, it is trending to the lower number of complaints. Let's ask the software when the value of three complaints will be achieved. To do this, I enter three in the target value field. The answer to my question is displayed in the forecast date column. I can also enter some data in the date field. The software uses historical data and displays the values that indicators are expected to have on that date. Uh, this information will be shown in the uh, target value column. With uh, update time analysis, you can check the update status of all indicators on your scorecard. As we discussed in a separate video, all indicators have an update interval property that helps to organize the scorecard's data. 
With uh, this type of analysis, you can find the indicators that uh, were not updated on time or indicators that uh, need to be updated shortly. The biggest K in lost analysis helps to compare data for different dates. On the panel below, you can specify the dates to be compared and select what needs to be analyzed performance, progress, or value. For example, if I select performance, we can find the indicators that had the biggest gain or the biggest loss in their performance. As you can see, the analysis function in BC Designer Online helps to look at the scorecard data from different points of view, helping your team to choose their priorities. Feel free to contact us if you have any questions.